My first thought when I hear the word roar is like immediately like the sound of like a wild animal, like a like a lion in the jungle, right? Or or uh, a lion pretender. <laughs> uh, but the sound of a lion really can be heard up to about five miles away. And it's like 25 times the sound of a gas powered lawnmower. Like it's a strong sound. It's a super strong sound. And its purpose is to communicate strength, position, and authority. So I was at a transitional space in my life where I felt like I had more questions than answers. And then, you know, I was kind of contemplating what I should do about that. And so scripture says to seek the kingdom first. So I did that. I started with Genesis one and I assure you, I saw it with a brand new pair of eyes, right? Messiah tells us that the kingdom identity in the kingdom is everything. It's everything. And so is position. Dr. Mike Freeman says you can't fulfill what you can't define. So once you establish your role, you can better interpret your marching orders. So I wrote this song not just for myself. I wrote it for all the entire nation of believers, all those who know they have a sound that the father wants you to release. Scripture tells us to not allow the book of the law to depart from our mouths, but to meditate on it both day and night. But when we look at that word meditate in the Hebrew, that word is Hagal, which means to speak and to study, but it also means to roar. It's time to release the sound. It's been bogged down for too long and it's time to release it. The power is within us. The kingdom is within us. The authority is within us. The position is within us and most importantly the strength of the most high is within us before i give up i open up my mouth and i lift my hands and i scream and shout i supply the kingdom sound for the nations to arise and return I am a lion, hear me. You have to establish your presence to yourself first. And if it's of the Father, the rest of the world will hear you. Release the sound. Release the roar. <laughs>